All right, Shalom, Shalom. I like to start off by giving all praise, glory, honor, and respect I'm due unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. I like to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, the true leaders of the nation of Israel, set up on the earth to teach today, and salutations to the Akim around the four corners of the globe, pushing his word with truth, sincerity, and with charity. And it's, um, this is going to be a, a quick response video to Ephraim in trouble, wicked U.S. government, which is Esau, blocks access to Puerto Rico, the house of Joseph. And, and it, it's, it's real simple. I mean, Jake just got to realize that Esau is the devil, man. And now his horns is coming to be shown, man. And that's what he's going to keep doing, is showing his horns, man. But, I mean, it, it's ultimately you, Jake, fault because y'all ain't want to get right. So, let's go ahead a couple quick precepts, man. Um, This is 2 Kings. Chapter 18, verse 21. It says, Now behold, it says, Now behold, thou trustest upon the staff of this bruised reed, even upon Egypt, on which if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh king of Egypt unto all that trust on him. And you know, this is um, spiritual, call, spiritual called Sodom and spiritual called Egypt, man. According to Revelations 11, but and which is um, America is spiritual Edom and spiritual Sodom, pursuant to Revelation 11. But with that being said, man, it said so. Um, it it will pierce. It say, it says, even a. Uh, I'm read it again. It says, now behold, thou trust upon the staff of the bruised reed, even upon Egypt, on which if a man lean, it will go into his hand. So you know if you um say if you got a cane. And if you lean on it, you use it for support, man. And that's what these Jakes is doing, man. They 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 leaning on the U.S. for their support, man. Which the scriptures say you shouldn't do. Obviously, that's what this scripture say, man. And it says, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So by you lead, leaning on Esau and his wicked kingdom upon Egypt, spiritual Egypt, man, it's going to fuck you over. And that's what y'all come to realize, man. The, these people not getting paid for it have um they have some some great number of supplies medical supplies that they could take to the people and do had a truck so he can move around and get it there all without without the U.S. having to be involved having to pay anything out of pocket and they still won't let him do it man why because this is the devil man <laughs> and the Lord is is just showing you his horns man. It's showing you what it is, man. Everybody want to pray for Puerto Rico now, man. But, hey, Puerto Rico, the people there should have been praying for themselves, man. They should have got right when they had the chance, man. That's a beautiful precept, though. But that's not... I want to make it quick. Isaiah 33 and 1. It reads... Whoa! To... Ah, uh, it's a lot, not 33, um, 31. This is Isaiah chapter 31, verse 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek Yahweh. And that's what they, hey, it say woe unto them, man, because that's what y'all doing. Y'all trust in the government, the U.S., like they somebody because they do what they do. They the bully of the world, so they supposed to be the big bad kid on the block. I mean, hey, look, Lord showing you that America ain't shit, man. And that Esau Edom, the wicked, is really wicked, man. He don't care about you niggas, man. That's simply just what the Lord doing, man. And it's beautiful. It's really fucking beautiful, man. Because you should have put your trust in the Lord, man. Let me hit this. Proverbs chapter 1, I want to say like 24. Hold on. This Proverbs 1 and 22. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge. Turn you at... 
turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit upon you. I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called and ye refuse. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have set, but ye have set at naught all my counsels, counsel and would none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as the desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh. And that's the problem, man. Y'all didn't fear Yahweh, man. Y'all didn't think Yahweh about Shimei Yahushua, because if you did, you would have put your trust in him. You would have believed everything he would say, and you wouldn't be in that predicament. I bet the men of the Lord out there in Puerto Rico is fine. The Lord trying their faith, but I bet they fine. Simply, man. You should have trusted in the Lord, man. Uh, um, I'm going to finish. Nah, that's it, really. I'm going to let that be what it is. Because simply, it's, it's simple, man. I'm going to get this last precept, man. Psalm chapter 118. Uh, let me see what verse 6 say. Uh, the point is um, verse 8. This Psalm chapter 118, verse 8. It say, it is better to trust in Yahweh than to put confidence in men. It is better to trust in Yahweh than to put confidence in princes, man. Who are the modern day princes, man? These leaders of these governments, man. They'd be the princes and the kings, man, of today. But it say it's better than trusting Yahweh by Shimei Yahushua than to put your trust in them. Why? Because they're going to fuck you over. Because they're merely just a man. Simply. With that, I'd like to give all praise, glory, honor, and respect due to Yahweh by Shimei Yahushua. I'd like to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, the true leaders of the nation of Israel, set up on the earth to teach today. Citations to the Akim around the four corners of the globe, pushing his word with truth, sincerity, and with charity. You brothers, I like to say Shalom and the Bible ball.